Hi, my name is Peter Coffin, and there is no cornucopia in the Fruit of the Loom logo. When I think controversy, I think things that matter, stuff that affects the world, things that, you know, make everyone's day actually better or worse. But there are articles about how there is no cornucopia in the Fruit of the Loom logo. This is apparently not even a new controversy. This is apparently a thing that's been going on a while. Snopes done debunked this one back on July 5th of last year now, because it's 2024. Holy shit. Has the Fruit of the Loom logo ever contained a cornucopia? Despite strong assertions to the contrary, the company has denied ever using the ancient symbol of abundance. It's on purpose, too, because they don't got a lot of room in their undies. The unintentional implication there, quite amusing to me, Fruit of Loom ain't got room for big weenies. Which I guess, not entirely untrue. So Snopes rates this as false. The claim, at some point in the past, Fruit of Loom's logo contained a cornucopia, and they rated it as false. This one should be Cut and dry. Uh, but might I also add, in my mind, the Fruit of the Loom logo has a cornucopia in it. And I'm not saying that Snopes is the arbiter of dis or misinformation because they have been wrong plenty. In fact, I was incredibly skeptical of this article. Here's the tweet heard around the world where Fruit of the Loom was like, it's the Mandela effect. Look at that. The crossword, by the way, is not helping. It, it, they intentionally gesture towards the cornucopia while saying it's not in the logo. But look at that little Fruit of the Loom logo. It ain't got no, it ain't, it ain't got no cornucopia in it. It's got as much cornucopia in it as the Rolling Stones got satisfaction. I'm realizing the way that I said that sounded like, to some extent. So here is the fake logo next to the real logo. You see what's going on here? In my mind, that guy is the right one. The one on the left is the right one, in my mind. Or was. I was pretty convinced this was some kind of information control op or something. Like, my brain was like, no, absolutely not. You're not taking the cornucopia away from me. I actually called my mom and I was like, Mom, is there a cornucopia in the Fruit of the Loom logo? And my mom answered, yes. And we spent some time talking about it, and I eventually decided I was going to start putting cornucopias into logos. I said, I'm going to put the cornucopia into the Nike logo. I'm going to put the cornucopia into the Adidas logo. I'm going to put the cornucopia into the Puma logo. I'm going to just go corn you crazy on any logo I can think of. And that's when I figured it out. So... I Google image searched empty cornucopia drawing and look at that butthole. That's the butthole. <laughs> That's it. That is the cornucopia. That's it. That's the, the one in the logo. Well, it needs to be mirrored, but okay. Like, look at all the little markings. It's the same. It is. It's the cornucopia that's it so this cornucopia is a clip art drawn by Pacruf pacrufus a guy calling himself pacrufus it was uploaded on june 18th 2008 to iStock as an exclusive which means that pacrufus uploaded it as the owner of it he owns it pacrufus has a pretty extensive portfolio of that kind of art. Ooh, look at these. Look at these fries. I like them. Some, some nice crinkly fries. Now I want those. I can't tell if I like Pacrufus's tiger. If I think he, he looks like he's got problems. Anyways, yes, that's a hundred percent the cornucopia, and it's time to put it behind other logos. So there's Nike with it. There's McDonald's. That one's pretty good, I think. There's the come and go gas stations. <laughs> think this one is particularly funny, given it kind of goes into the cornucopia butthole. See that? Oh, look at that. 
I'm packing fudge. No, I think the come and go one actually is the best one. That one I got to share with the world. Everybody deserves a nice PNG of that one. Yeah, so the way I figured out that this isn't a PSYOP is I wanted to put cornucopias in logos, and I found the cornucopia, and the cornucopia was made in 2008. And I thought that the cornucopia went back a lot further than 2008. It's also very strange that the cornucopia is like the same style, like the line work on it fits in with the actual Fruit of the Loom logo. Like, here's their logo. Uh, it's the fruit thing, the fruit thing. It goes back, and it's just, it's, it's supposedly there's no cornucopia. But I think um, the right thing to do is to make every logo have the cornucopia in it. So the ultimate thing is, first off, they're not always lying to you. <laughs> the main thing I learned is that the underwear company probably isn't lying to me. They are not using symbols of abundance for their dong carriers. And I'll say this, it's obvious to me when I put their undies on. They are not making room for any abundance. No, sir. But I also want to say this. I didn't trust Snopes. And I don't think you should either. I think you should do your own research. And that's how I got to the bottom of this. I was letting the synapses fire on their own, and my own creativity brought me, I don't know why I'm wiggling my fingers like this, but my creativity brought me to the correct answer, at least as far as I can tell. Yes, Snopes was right here, but I didn't really feel satisfied by their answer. Instead, I actually spent time digging. It was kind of comedy. Uh, trying to make something silly, deciding that I was going to put cornucopias and logos that ultimately proved it for me. But that's kind of how I work. If you've ever watched my documentaries, I do a lot of work in terms of research. I care a great deal. In my book, Woke Ouroboros, available at your local Amazon.com. In my book, there are 230 citations. I don't play. It's actually like 231 or 234. It's, it's more than 230, uh, but I don't remember the exact number, and I am not taking it off of the bookshelf. I've already put it back on the bookshelf. But what I'm wanting to say here is not so much, hey, trust Snopes. They're the right ones, because they've been wrong, like I said, many times in the past. Snopes is not just automatically reliable. In fact, uh, the New York Times reports that Snopes had to retract 60 articles plagiarized by the co-founder. They actually banned the guy, David Mickelson, uh, who owns half of the company, from writing articles after a BuzzFeed investigation prompted an internal review. But if you've watched my other videos on plagiarism specifically, we've talked about that recently, um, that's not really my standard for evil activity or dishonesty. Uh, I'm just noting that by the standards of the establishment that tells us what is real and what isn't, uh, he's certainly not adhering uh, to the correct practices. If you're disproving some misinformation, I kind of don't give a shit if you're plagiarizing, but that's neither here nor there. If you're interested in that, go check out my videos there. Um, I think we've kind of reached the denouement here, so I don't want to belabor any points. It doesn't really matter that they were right about the cornucopia, my friends. It matters we got to the bottom of it. And that we put the cornucopia behind the come and go logo. I want that on a fucking t-shirt now. Ultimately, it needs to be understood that any media outlet of any kind, including the neutral fact-checking ones in particular, you should check it. You should spend time thinking about it from different angles, look into it, and find the actual answer. Because I don't think that the cornucopia thing, I would even believe it. If I hadn't found the original cornucopia and when it was made. Because in my mind, the Fruit of the Loom cornucopia logo went back way more than 2008. Uh, but it, 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 that's from 2008. That butthole is from 2008.
Thanks a lot for joining me on this search for the truth. Um, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Hope you have a great day.